Hi, uh, my name is Natalie, and uh, I'm a native speaker of, of Flemish, a language variety of Dutch spoken in Flanders, Belgium. Um, I'm also a native speaker of my own dialect uh, called Kempens or Kempis, and it's spoken in the northeast of Belgium. My name is Soren. I'm from Germany, from a small town called Düsseldorf in the vicinity of Cologne. And I'm a German native speaker, and I, I am also a teacher for German as a foreign language. And I also recently started uploading YouTube videos, uh, but that's still a side project of mine. And yeah, I'm a speaker of the Düsseldorfer Platt dialect, uh, which is kind of dying out right now. <laughs> Not a lot of people, but it's very close to the Cologne dialect. Awesome, so, thank you. We're basically going to do this in parts. Mm -hmm. So in the first part, we're going to start with something very simple. And then we'll do uh, two other portions, which will have a paragraph and uh, another part in just your specific dialect. Um, the kern van het leven is bitterzoet. Uh, so the, the kern van leven, so the core of life is? Bitterzoet. Bitter, is that a false friend? No, I don't think so. A bitter, bitter suit. Ah, bitter sweet. Oh. Yes, exactly. Uh huh. Okay, so that was an easy one, I think. My, mine, mine is a bit longer, but I think it won't be a problem. I, I hope. <laughs> okay. Uh, wenn du mit einem Menschen in einer Sprache sprichst, die er versteht, geht es in seinen Kopf. Okay, uh, when you speak with a, another human being. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what was, what was it? Uh, wenn, du, wenn du mit einem Menschen in einer Sprache sprichst, die er versteht. Uh, okay, when you speak with another um, person or with another human being uh, in a language that you understand. Geht es in seinen Kopf. Literally, it goes in in his head <laughs> yeah yeah uh, 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 there's a second part okay. um wenn du mit ihm in seiner sprache sprichst geht es in sein herz ah okay okay um but when you speak uh, with this person in his language yeah it goes is in, in his heart to, to his heart yeah basically his heart. Yeah. okay so do, do you know that quote? It's actually a famous quote from- No, a, I don't know it. It's from Nelson Mandela. He, he said that once. Okay, well, nice. That's a nice one. That's yeah. my favorite one, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's true. It's my dialect now, okay. Eer gisteren noon, hemme wel het dorp kabeljaar geten die nog half raar was. Okay. Oh, that, that's more difficult. Okay, yeah. <laughs> once, once again, please. Yeah. Eer um, gisteren, well, it's actually eer gisteren noon. Mm -hmm. uh, hemme wel yeah, I try, uh, try to get it from context, that's why. Okay, eer gisteren noon, hemme wel do kabeljaar geten die nog half ra was. Ooh. So the first one is uh, the um, two days ago in the midday. Yes. So like for gestern Mittag. Yes. And, and then. Hemme wille. Um, haben wir like we, we wanted to. No, no, it's not one, but it's a verb. Hemme. And I would say that the, the first part, I think, of the of the, of the verb is, is similar to German. It starts. So it's it's the it's I guess the 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 auxiliary verb. So haben and then yes. something haben. But wille um, yeah. We we desired no. The the same thing. It starts out with the same letter. Let's say, but then the rest is completely different. Villa. Villa. I I can think only of one. I can only think of one word. Wollen, which is to want. But you said it isn't that. Um, oh, no, it, it's a person like oh well <laughs> in german well it means it means wave <laughs> oh no 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 well. no i can't get that one um okay so it's not i it's not you it's 
Ah, we, we are alle, we all. Yeah, we. We, okay, okay. And then... Uh, so, so, so two days, two days ago uh, on uh, at noon, we yeah. all, or we... Yes. Uh, mm. It's a place. Dot there. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, Kabulya. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a couple of yar, like a mix from <laughs> English and German. Um, uh, it, like, but that doesn't mean a, um, a few years. No, think of a fish. Oh, Kabelio. I'm stupid. Yeah, Kabelio. Um, but I don't know this one in English, actually. Um, Codfish, I think, right? Or cod or something. Uh, okay. Uh, Heta? Heisen? Uh, 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 are called? Mm, no. Um, I think here you have to um, leave out the first letter and to know what it what it is. Oh, okay. S and eat. Yes. Oh, eat, eat, essen, okay. Uh, dir? Uh, dir? Also, like, you? No. So, wait, I need to get it. Um, so, about fish. Two, two uh, what was it, two days ago at noon, um, yes. we all ate this codfish. Yeah. Eta. Uh, um, no, what was the next word? Uh, dir. Uh, okay, and go on. Uh, um, yeah. Noch. No, uh, yet, still. Mm -hmm. well, yes. Half. Die Hälfte, half of something? Uh, mm, no, not exactly, but you're, you're on the right track. Uh, I see. It's, it's about, you, you, will, you will get it when I read the rest of the sentence. Um, okay. Half, ra, was. So this half, uh, it, it belongs with the next word, ra. Oh, okay. So, ha, ah, so what was the ha, half, yeah? Ra. Ra, oh, halb, okay. So ha, half cooked, basically. So halb roh. Yes. Um, half cooked. Oh, okay. So the, so the, the, the codfish was half, was left half cooked. Yes. Yes, exactly. Okay. No, I was. Uh, I found that really uh, found that really interesting because you said um, "heter" is uh, like to eat. Oh, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, because uh, I think in in Dutch it means something like uh, to, uh, to be uh, like to have the name of or to be called, right? Oh yes, exactly. Heten. Yes, yes, yes. True. But but, but I said "heten." It, it's R G is so soft. It's not like in in Dutch. Yeah. In Dutch, they would say they would pronounce it like more like. Uh, Gegeten or something, but we our oh. our G is uh or like me our J uh, G I mean is so soft that you almost cannot uh hear it. Yeah, that's why I confuse it. Uh, I guess yes. oh, that's that's really interesting. Okay, okay, it's a it's a very short story about the dialect itself, basically. Okay, um, Mondat is what but the kleine Dutskes hütze dags nimmer lehre. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I give you one hint. Uh, mon mon art uh, means mouth art translated. So maybe you can get there. Uh, mm -hmm. Mon art is what, what the kleine Dutskes hütze dags nimmer lehre. And in mon art was. Uh... Mon art. Um, how can I? Mm. Okay, we have, um, we have Sprach and mon art. Eine, eine große Sprach und viele Monats. Wow. Oh. Okay, I thought maybe that. Okay, so we have one, we have a language and we have one language and many Monat. Dialects? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, so dialects. I'll, I'll repeat once more. Uh, Monat is what, what the kleine Dötzkes hütze dachs nimmer liere. Okay, so um, dialects is what nowadays or something? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the, the kleine, the kleine Dutzkes. Oh, it's oh, I think we have the exact same word in 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 Flemish. What do you say? It means like 
child actually yeah exactly uh, really it's a, cute, oh it's a cute version of of child yeah it's so funny it's the exact same word that's good yeah but we would never use it but okay so um dialects is what uh little children nowadays don't learn uh anymore yeah nimmer is a construction uh, of uh, nicht mehr so not anymore yeah nimmer nimmer lehre yeah right um we have the word that word too nimmer i think or oh, okay know. Yeah. Is it also a contraction? Um, yes, but it's very outdated, mm. the, this construction, mm. but we have it. Okay, okay. So, okay, I'll, I'll continue with the next sentence. So that's perfect. That's absolutely right. Okay. Um, entweder haben the elder dat seine Kängers net bei brat. Entweder haben the elder dat seine Kängers net bei brat. Yes. Um, oh, that, there's a comma there, so I will just like uh, stop. Okay, in Sweden, is it like once again or something? Uh, no, it's it's a two type. It's a construction of two words: Sweden oder. So if I if I read the whole sentence, Sweden haben the elder that the Kängers net bei brat, oder die kriegen dat einfach net jebacke. Ah, okay, okay. Um, so uh, it means that um, mm, either the um, yeah, yeah. wait, what was it again? Uh, Entweder the ham the elder okay, that the, the, um, mm -hmm. uh, the um, parents or elders, yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. Um, yeah, parents, yeah, haven't uh, taught it. Yeah, Beibrat, uh, haven't taught it. Yeah. Uh, or, oder, and that, that's a construction, uh, maybe you have it in Flemish, but we'll see. Oder die kriegen dat einfach net je backe. Or they don't, um, um, they can't, just can't do it or something. Yeah, do you have the same in, in, in Flemish? Because uh, to, to not get something baked, also in high in standard German, is uh, to, to not manage to do something. Yeah. Um, no, it's not exactly the same, but I, I, I got it. Also in standard German, you would say, um, ich kriege das nicht gebacken, I can't get it baked. That means I can't do uh -huh. it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, last part of the uh, little story. Um, ob dat erjefnis kannst du hüt kike, de monat is ossiestorve. Okay, once again. Ob dat erjefnis kannst du hüt kike, the monat is ossiestorve. Okay, ob dat... Um, ob dat erjefnis. I, I think erjefnis is maybe means heritage? Uh, mm, mm -mm. It's... Mm, yeah, it's, 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 it's too easy if I give you a hint, but yeah, it, it, if I... It's basically a result. It's a result. So a synonym would be um, resultat. Ob dat, ob dat resultat. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so ob dat resultat or ob dat erjefnis. Because of this kann, result? Can se hüt kieke? Okay. And then again, and the, the next uh, part? Uh, the, the monat is ossiestorve. Okay. The dialect uh, has uh, disappeared. Like, uh, yeah, more harshly has died out. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. And ob that erjefnis kannst du hüt kieke? Kannst, kannst du hüt kieken? Mm, because of this result and... So, on, on, on the result, hüt, you, you got that before. Hüt, you said hüt se dachs, so nowadays. So yes, hüt, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Kannst du hüt kieke? Kieke? Don't you have that word? No. It's. I think in the the Dutch uh, also say that word. Kicken, kicken. Maybe I'm not sure. I don't know Dutch. Kicken is well. Can maybe kick and look, but. <laughs> yeah, look. Yeah. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. So ob that erjefnis kannst du hüt kike. Is that... Oh, okay, because of this result you see or something? No, no, no. Uh, on, you can see the result today. Like in English grammar, it doesn't work, but on the result, you can look today. Oh, okay, you see the results of this today. Yeah, op, op that is onto or like... 
Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. And then you got to write uh, the dialect yeah. side out. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I haven't met many people from Düsseldorf so in the in recent times, so I don't know. Maybe they revived it or something. Something, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, it, I think it's it. the same with all dialects, actually, with my dialect as well. Um, the bad thing is, and I don't know if it's the same with your dialect, uh, when I speak to my grandparents, um, and they are really talking in, in their, their own dialect, wow. I, I don't understand half of it, <laughs> which is horrible. There are so many yeah. words that we've forgotten nowadays. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit like that. So it's it's not really my native language um, because my my um, my mother is from a region uh, in the vicinity of Düsseldorf, and she also has sometimes she used that dialect, but not in a very fluent manner, just some words. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, and but I, I learned it in school in 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 primary in elementary school um, because we had a teacher who who was really you know engaged in teaching that to us. So that was cool. But I, it's not really a native language to me. But I understand, yeah, maybe 70, 80 percent if mm -hmm. uh, if they speak like in the deep dialect. Yeah, but that that's I think it's great that that you're being taught your own dialect in school, because uh, um, in Belgium or in Flanders, at least, it's really being discouraged. It was also discouraged in, in Germany, uh, to be honest. So especially people from Saxony suffer under this because, uh, you know, uh, the, the dialect from Eastern Germany is not I would say not the most popular one in Germany, uh, but um, yeah. So I, I saw a video online where, where they talked about that, and um, a daughter of a of a person who spoke the Saxonian dialect uh, was really disencouraged because in school they said like, "Oh, that's a loser dialect," you know. But you know, it's as part of Germany as any other dialect. So yeah, but it's not discouraged anymore. I think I, I don't know. People can comment uh, under the video yeah, of the Germans. Me neither, but I, I hope it changed. But we'll see. Okay, so, medereiziger, je hebt jouw eigen leven opgebouwd, buiten de schijnwerpers. Je zit vast in de verstikkende routine van het alledaagse leven. En hoewel dit jou gek maakt, zoek je er toch bescherming in. Tegen stromen, golven, sterren en gevoelens. Met moeite vergeet je hoe ongelukkig je bent. De klei waaruit je bent gevormd, is niet opgedroogd en verhard. Je zal geen astronoom, musicus, altruist, dichter of mens meer worden, wat ooit wel had gekund. Oké, wauw. Dat is lang. Maar ik heb het tot 30, 40% en toen was ik, ah, ik geef op. Dus, wat was de eerste sentence? De eerste sentence was, um, medereiziger. Je hebt jouw eigen leven opgebouwd. So, uh, one sec, one sec. So, uh, ik heb mijn eigen leven opgebouwd. Is I have built, I have built up my own life, or I've, I've, I've built, I've built my own life, or yo, yo, you? No. Yes, it is. Je, je hebt jouw eigen leven opgebouwd. So you, je hebt euch das Leben, like you, you, yeah, built your own life for yourself, something like that. Yeah, something like that. But the first word uh, I didn't get. Man, man, man. Yeah, that one I didn't get. Does it, I think it's quite similar. Does it does it mean to, to English? No, to German. I think when I when I looked at made a reiziger. It comes from the a verb uh, reizen. Re reizen? Yes. Ah, oh, reizen. Oh, travel. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So it's it, but it's a it's just a word. So it's uh, not a verb. Mede reiziger. So people who travel a lot, or or. No. Um, so you have reiziger. Which is a person that travels. Yeah. So mede. Okay. Yeah. Mede reiziger. Oh, mitreisende. So the people who travel with you. Yes. Oh, okay. So uh, once more than the whole sentence, please. Mede reiziger. Je hebt jouw eigen leven opgebouwd buiten de schijnwerpers. Oof. 
So, but then I don't get the context. Mitreisende, like the, the people who travel with you, they have built up their own, or you have built up your own life. Yes. Okay. Buiten de schijnwerpers. Or to make it maybe easier, uh, it could also be uit de schijnwerpers. I think that the um, the last word, schijnwerpers, I need. I think you need to break it down. Uh, the first uh, part, schijn, there you need to think of an English word. And the second uh, part um, comes from werpen. Which werpen? is very similar. Uh -huh. Idea. Look at me. <laughs> okay, is it bad? <laughs> so <laughs> it's good. To throw? Or like... yes. Oh, werfen. Oh, okay. Werfen. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh, so that's I, I, should have, I, I should have actually gotten that because um, the um, the F in my dialect also sometimes gets, um, you know, it's, it's also P, so I should have gotten. Oh, okay. But um, not always. So, oh, okay, yeah, werfen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, sorry, once more, so... Um, and... Okay, buiten de schijnwerpers. Werfen die... Oh, no. Um, so, if werpen and, and then schijnwerpers. So, yes. werden... So, will throw something? No, no, no. It's, it's, it's not a, a verb. It's, it's just a word. But I'm trying to help you to, uh, to find out the meaning of the word, which is kind of difficult, apparently. Um, and then you have schijn. And to me, it's really similar to, to English. Uh, maybe I should just say the words. Uh, Scan. So schijn Scan. Is, you, you need to think of the English word shine. So it, it is shine or no? Yes. Oh, okay, schijn, shine. Okay, so in, in, in Flemish, you, you separate the S from the CH, right? Yes. If, if it is written with an S. CH yeah. is, is, is um, well, we, we, we uh, pronounce it exactly, the, almost exactly the same as the, as the soft uh, G, like H. Oh. So, so okay. it, it should also be, for example, a schip, like a ship? Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah, that, uh, okay, I, I'll try to use that to my advantage. Um, yeah, okay, so once once more because that, that that sentence is very difficult. Okay, um, the whole sentence. Yeah, the first two. Uh, what do we say? Verses. Okay, medereisiger, je hebt jouw eigen leven opgebouwd buiten de schijnwerpers or uit de schijnwerpers. Ah, so ah, schijnwerper. Yeah, now that you read it uh, quickly. Uh, so the the now nah, I know, but I forgot in English. Um, it's these um um these. These big lights that usually yes, are used for construction exactly. sites or something, but spotlight. Um, hmm? spotlight. Yeah, spotlights. Uh, that was an, yeah, that was another one. But yeah, spotlights as well. Uh, so Scheinwerfer. Okay. Yes. So uh, so uh, so travel. Uh, people are traveling uh, with with you. Uh, you have built up your own life, or you have built up your life by yourself, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, you you will you will have the the the, the spotlights or the spotlights. Uh, uit or buiten de schijnwerpers. How do you write that? Uh, buiten, it's B U I T E N. It's not in, it's. It's outside? Yes. Buiten is yes. outside? Yes. Wow, okay. Okay, okay. So uh, outside of the spotlight? Yes. Or the spotlights, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh -huh. that's it. Okay, next sentence. Just, just to let you know, because uh, uh, out of something in German is außerhalb. So that was why I was very confused with Burton. <laughs> oh, yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with the German then. Je zit vast. Okay, in de verstekende routine van het alledaagse leven. Hmm. So it's it's a it's a festival of of the annoying routine of your everyday life, or I don't know, verstricken, um, mm, or verstrickt maybe uh, maybe um, um, what do you say um, entangled? Well, it's it's the meaning is similar. Yes. Okay. Okay. So the the maybe confusing routine of or the 
yeah, the complex routine of everyday life. Okay. Well, yeah, it, it's you are stuck in in the stifling routine, like in I think. Oh, it's, stuck. It's, okay. In I German, I think it's erstickend or something. Like no, er, er, ersticken is. Um, no? Yeah, you could use that, but that's to suffocate. Yes, uh, exactly. But that's it. Oh, that, that's it. Yes. Okay, but, but there is another word, verstrickt, because what what was the word? Uh, verstickend. Verstickend. Oh, okay, because of my thought was verstrickt, which is like like entangled we so, have it too uh, yeah. but, but that makes yeah. sense uh, ersticken is yeah uh, suffocate mm -hmm. so yeah that's on the so then the but okay then the festival of of you know suffocating in your everyday routine uh, but, but i don't, I don't there's I, no festival but you, but you fast? Said, fast yes is uh, you are stuck oh okay fast Oh, okay. I mean, it, what we say in German, I think we would say something like, um, um, du bleibst stecken, or, yeah, du bleibst stecken, stecken, like stuck, very close to English. Well, you could, you could say that too in Dutch. You could say, you bleibst stecken. Yes, exactly. But oh, okay, okay, okay. another way of saying it. Okay, so fast means to be stuck somewhere. Okay. Yes. Yes. So you're stuck in your everyday, uh, in your uh, everyday routine. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, then, um, en hoewel dit jou gek maakt, zoek je er toch bescherming in. Oeh, oké. Okay. En wel? En hoewel? Yeah. It's a contradiction. Um, so even though? Yes. Um, dit jou gek maakt? Uh, even though you really like it? Um, no, the word "gek" it it can yeah it, it can be used in this meaning like I'm 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 crazy about something uh, uh, I like something but uh -huh. this is not in a good way. Oh, so um, uh, so hassen uh, hate, even though you hate it. Or yeah, or maybe um, dislike it. Maybe it's more something like um, actually "gek" is crazy. Oh, so even though it is even though the everyday life is crazy. Um, but maakt jou gek. Maakt. Ah, macht dich, achso, macht dich uh, verrückt. Uh, um, uh, makes you crazy. Yes, yes. Um, zoek je er toch bescherming in? Zoek ich doch, like I, I'm, nevertheless, I'm searching for something. Yes. Looking for something. Mm hmm and and what what is the thumb is there something bescherming or i'm gonna give you a synonym which oh. might be easier beschutting what but so even though i i guess i need more context so even though you uh, it makes you crazy mm -hmm. you're looking for beschutting yeah or bescherming, bescherming. protection Oh, Schutz. How is Schutz? Yes, I, I was going for that word, for that German word. Because uh, Bescherming obviously has nothing to do with the German word, but then I saw that there was a, a oh. synonym. Bescherming is Beschutting. And... Uh, beschützen, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, I think if, if I can see the language, then it will be easier. But like just hearing it, it's, it's actually yeah. quite difficult. So okay. I see. Okay. Yeah, beschützen, beschützung. I mean, we wouldn't say beschützung, we would just say schutz, yeah, so protection, yeah. Yes. Okay, okay, go on, please. Next sentence. Uh, tegen stromen, golven, sterren en gevoelens. Wow. Once more. Tegen stromen. Tegen stromen. My first day with these storms, but no. Uh, I think with the first word, the word, first word is actually very similar to German. There's just one letter again that that's the first uh, letter that you need to uh, change. Damn. Hmm. Oh, it's um. Wait. Look at me. Oh yeah, sorry. Tegen. <laughs> Schlaf, uh, sleeping? No, no. It's like this: my hand and my face and my 
Hand. Oh, dagegen, uh, so against it. Yes. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, in, in, um, in German, we actually would use dagegen. So gegen just means against. Oh, so wait, it is against something. So yes. klären. Gegen Stromen. Uh, against the, uh, against the, the, the um, what do you say? Um, swim against the, what is yes. it? And, yeah, uh, current or uh, yeah, current, yeah, yeah, right. Yes. Okay, so uh, against the current. Yes. Um, Colvin. Um, we hold or holding. Uh, no, it's it's not a verb. It's a word, and it again has to do something with water. Holden. Colvin. Colvin. So plural, and the singular is golf. Holden. Okay. Actually, so like I guess G G O L Yes V uh V V or W uh, Golven and yeah the singular is G O L F it's exactly like the English it's, so it's golf like the uh, the body of water yes yes okay okay uh Stern Sterne uh, stars Yes. Okay. N gevoelens. And that's also a noun. Yes. And gevoelens. So against the current, uh -huh. the gulf, the yeah. stars. Yes. And gevoelens. Gevoelens. Ge ge Gevoelens. Ge yes. ge 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 it comes from a verb, voelen. Uh, hmm. Oh, so it means the, the, the desired things, or the, the wanted, the things you want. Uh, you're on the right track, but not exactly. Uh, the things you strive for? No. Ge gevoelen. I mean, there's a word gevol gevolt. But that means just want it. Um, um, think of the, the verb, I think. So, wollen, to want? No, it doesn't have anything to, to do with the, the verb to want. It has. Ah, something. so, okay, so that must yeah. be on the right track, okay. So, wollen. There's a word, wühlen, which means to um, also to, to, to rummage. Yeah, on your own, but that, that's not it. That's not it. I think it should change one letter once again. The, the v. As, as always, yeah. yeah. As always, as always, and then it's so obvious. Uh, yeah. The V. V. By a letter that's really similar in pronunciation. For, is it is to feel feelings? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, that ah, gewohl, is Gefühle. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's ach, I, yeah. If if I could if I could see the language, that would be much easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now you're like, oh my god, obviously. Yeah, that, that's always like, oh my, how could I be so stupid? Uh, next sentence. Met moeite vergeet je. Uh, met so met with somebody, somebody or something. Um. With your, because I hear it with your mother. Yes, and moeite is, hmm. I but not think. mother, right? No, not at all. It's okay. uh, a level of difficulty, I would say. Moeite. Moeite. Hmm. I, I don't know. No it's idea. It's not easy. Does it just mean difficult or hard? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, with difficult. Yeah. Muita. Wow. Okay. Uh, vergeet je? Vergang so past, so some with with more difficulties that have passed or something like that. No, it's a verb and vergeten. It comes from vergeten. Oh, vergessen. Um, uh, forget. Yes. Uh huh. Um. Wait. Hoe ongelukkig je bent. The how happy I am. Oh, it's like the with, opposite. Oh, <laughs> oh how bad I am. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, uh, to wrap it up, um, 
uh, damn, I forgot all the, I forgot it already. So um, with the uh, with all the with all the difficulties, you forget um, how sad it is. No, who uh, ongelukkig jij? You. Ah, you forget how sad it is. Uh, it ongelukkig is not happy, but it's you know unhappy. You know. Oh, okay, so un un unglücklich. Yeah. Unglücklich? Yes, ungelukkig. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, un unglücklich. Okay. So uh, you, you forget how unhappy you have been? Uh, Yay, bent. Yay, bent. Ah, uh, do you are? Yes, exactly. Okay, good. Next part. If uh -huh. you're... Uh, the clay waaruit je bent gevormd. Let's start with that. Yeah, the, the clay, clay, clay. Oh, is it um, klage, like sorrow, not sorrow. Um, I, I've, can you give me a hint for clay? Yes. Is it a, is it a noun? Yes, and think okay. of English. Oh, cl like clay? Yes. Oh, okay, that was easier than I thought. I thought it couldn't be so easy. <laughs> okay, oh, so the, the clay. Waaruit je bent gevormd? So, again, I hear this word bent, so something you are. Yeah. So, what was the second, what the verb, verruten? Uh, gevormd. Ah, gevormd, uh, like was formed. Um, so the, the clay was formed out of you? No, that doesn't, no. No, you. You are formed out of clay. Yeah. Uh, so, the clay waaruit je bent gevormd. It's new. Ah, okay. so, the, the, so the the clay from which you have been, or from which you are formed, okay? Yes, exactly. Uh, is nu opgedroogd en verhard. Ah, uh, is now dry and hard. Yes. Okay. That was easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah sometimes, yeah, sometimes it just works out. Yeah. Je zal geen astronoom, musicus, altruist, dichter of mens meer worden. Uh, okay, once more, like, uh, if we can just split the sentence in two. So the first half was... Je zal. So it's either you should or you will. It's the second one. Oh, you will, okay. Yes. Because in, in... That's, okay, that's like in Dutch. Okay, I see. So um, you will... Mm -hmm. uh, geen astronoom. Every... Every... Ost um, every... Oh. It, it's a bit difficult because actually it uh, you zal geen than a noun meer worden. It meer worden is the noun. War, uh, no, no, that there is no noun. Oh, okay. You zal geen than a noun because there needs to be a noun. So you you you, you will know you will something verb you will yes. know uh, astronaut astronaut or oh, what is astronom like. Astronom is um, the, the science of astronomy. Yes. Okay. So, but astronom is it a person? Yes. So, how do you call these people? Astronom is ast astronomer, right? Oh, yeah, astronomer, right? Yeah. Okay. And dichter was uh, um, po um, poet. Yes. And then, um, musicus. Uh, um, music musician. Yes, uh, altruist. <laughs> Altru uh, altruist, yeah. Yes, uh, of men's. Of men's. Two words, of men's. Men's is... My? No. Of men's. No, think of, of men's. All, of all people? No, think of what? Men's. The word mensch. Ah, mensch. So that's the human from of all people, of all human beings. Mm, not exactly, but you you got all the words. You don't just don't have got. You didn't get the meaning of the whole, of the whole sentence. But, but where's where's the verb? So you will know. So where's the main verb? Worden. Oh, you won't become. Yes. You won't become like neither an, uh, like an um. 
as astronomer, neither a po poet, neither nor a, um, what was this? What was the rest? Altruists. Uh, altruists, nor. Dichter. Yeah, the the poet, and yeah. you will you will won't become any of those. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. You will no longer be or become. Oh, you will. Okay, you. Okay, I see. Niet meer or geen meer. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, wat ooit wel had gekund. But today everything everything went well. What turned out well? No. Um, well, once again, once again. Wat ooit wel had gekund. So what? Ooit. But it doesn't mean today, right? No. No. Ooit. Ooit. Uh, outside? Out? Mm, oh, this is a very difficult word to describe. Uh, okay. Ooit. Hmm. It's not now, but it's possible. It, that's the translation of the word. Yes. But so, no, it's not a translation. The translation is something else, but it's, uh, okay, okay. And think of a fairy tale, maybe. Because Once? all fairy tales start like with this. Once? Yeah. Okay, so what once? Once again? Yeah. Well had gekund. Um, the verb is kunnen. So what once was possible or what once was able to be done? Yes, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. What once, uh, wait, wait, uh, would have been possible. Yes. Oh, would have been possible. Oh, would have been possible. Okay. Yeah. Full stop. Yes. Stop. Oh, okay. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. And can you can you uh, tell me the whole story in, in English? So what was okay. that section about? Yes. Um. So the whole story in English is, fellow traveler, you have built your own life out of the spotlight or outside of the spotlight. You are stuck in the stifling routine of everyday life. And even though this drives you crazy, you still seek protection in it against currents, waves, stars, and feelings. With difficulty, you forget how unhappy you are. The clay you were formed of has now dried and hardened. You will no longer be an astronomer, musician, altruist, poet, or human being what once could have been. Oh, okay. So so the first one is actually interesting so dear dear follow what is dear followers your fellow traveler it is our dear, dear uh, follow travelers so a uh, fellow uh, you we translate that as mit mit reisende right yeah oh, okay mit reisende. yeah yeah it makes sense i think if you have the um the what would you call the the rules that that change when you switch to the language then it gets easier like if you know that uh like s is always or more or less always um switch to t or something like that then you may get it like but mm, yeah just listening to it is very difficult so this is the verse of an old uh children's story um that was written a long time ago i think 1800 something and let, let's see um uh, i'll first read it quickly and then i'll we can separate the sentences okay der kasper der war kerngesund ein dicker bub und kugelrund er hatte backen rot und frisch die suppe aß er hübsch bei tisch Doch einmal fing er an zu schreien, ich esse keine Suppe, nein, ich esse meine Suppe nicht, nein, meine Suppe esse ich nicht. So, that was quickly, but um, should we go sentence by sentence? Yes, please. Okay, so der Kasper, that, that's the name, der Kasper, der war kerngesund. Um, so, Kasper was extremely healthy. Yeah. We have the same. Ein, okay, ein dicker Bub und kugelrund. Uh, oh. Is it a big? Ah, ein, yeah, ein dicker boob. Yeah. Ein dicker boob. Uh, from the word bube. Ein dicker bube und kugelrund. Um, so, um, is boob uh, maybe, yeah, but? Or? Uh, it's, it's a noun. It's a noun. Yes. But, ein, ein but dicker, ein dicker. Part, right? Oh, oh, you mean <laughs> this but. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, um. Uh, not that no, it's it's oh, not one body part, but all body parts, and the kaboop. Hmm. Maybe if I say ein ein dicker junger boob. It. Hmm. Ein junger boob. How, how do you write that? 
B U B, but the the it's it's a um, poetic form. The normal word is B U B E. Bube. I give you it's, it's um it's a young man. It's it's a yeah a young man. Okay. A boy. Boop boop. See any connection with Dutch there or Flemish? Okay, ein, ein dicker Bub und Kugelrund. Um, as round as a bullet. Uh, well, bullet Kugel Kugel is correct, but we use it to describe the next word Kugelrund. So, really, um, round or yeah, yeah. want to yeah. say yeah, fat. Yeah. But... So... Round as a bullet, so uh, yeah, so uh, but not as a um, as a young boy, but just ein dicker Bub. So der Kasper, der war kerngesund. Yeah. Der Kasper, ein dicker Bub und kugelrund. Um, so Kasper was extremely no, uh, yeah, was extremely yeah, yeah, was healthy, uh -huh. um, like a guy. Yeah, ein ein dicker Bub. So that's a. A thick boy, so uh, yeah, um, over, thick, not overweight, yeah. but uh, a big, a big boy. Mm -hmm. Big boy and round, cool round. Cool round as a boat. Yeah, mm -hmm. genau. Er hatte Backen rot und frisch. Er hatte yeah, ba Backen. Back. Oh, is it um, cheeks? Yeah, no. genau. What, what do you say in Flemish? Uh, so, um, wang. But the thing is that uh, so uh, we have also Wange. We also have um, Wange. Here, like sometimes guys have, have hair here. We call it Backe Barden. So weird. Ah, okay. Uh, I see. Okay. So, and in German, usually this is this is Wange and this is Backe. So the soft card oh, is. Oh, okay. No, no, we would, would never use that word. But we do have the word Backe Bart. And now I see where it comes from. Oh, I see. Yeah. So That's yeah, it. er hatte er Backen rot und frisch. Um, so his cheeks were uh, red and fresh. Uh, fresh. <laughs> yeah, fresh. Uh, but yeah, in this context means like glowing, like, maybe. No, but fresh is correct. But it's it's very like a like a healthy color, like red. Yeah, like glowing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, glowing, glowing. maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, die Suppe aß er hübsch bei Tisch. Um, the, so soup. Mm -hmm. Die Suppe aß er hübsch bei Tisch. He ate the soup, right? Hübsch, mm -hmm. hübsch is, is, isn't it? Um, like, I thought hübsch was beautiful or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's correct, that's correct. Uh, so this is this is a poetic form. So uh, hübsch bei Tisch, in, in this case, hübsch means something like, <laughs> Like the good, being the good boy he was, like like well mannered. He, okay. The super as er like hübsch by by Tisch, well mannered at the table. Okay, okay. Tisch is a stable talk. Oh, sorry, I I told it. yeah. Yeah, you already. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, yeah, but the super as er hübsch by Tisch uh, mm -hmm. is das. Yeah. Okay. So as as the good boy he he was or he is he ate the soup at the table. Yeah. Or yeah. 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 Table? No. Okay. Yeah, because in English it doesn't make sense. Like the soup he pretty prettily ate at the table, but yeah, that doesn't make any sense. So yeah. Doch einmal fing er an zu schreien. But uh, einmal is like once. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doch einmal fing er an zu schreien. Schreien is it uh, crying? Uh, close. So crying was actually. Um, uh, really close, but if you're, it's rather not if you're sad, but if you're angry. Oh, yell. Uh, yeah, yell or scream. Yeah, so that, yeah, that's why I wanted yeah, to. Yeah, we have a similar word, schreven in, in, uh, in uh, Flemish. Okay. Oh, okay. So apparently in English it's sk, like sk scream, right? Yeah. You have sch and we have sh. So that's like a, you know, yes. that, that shows oh, the thought... dialect continuum. I like that. I thought you meant schreien, which is to, another word for crying in the... Uh... Oh, it may be that in, in Flemish that the, that the meaning changed, um, so that schreien is, 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 the, is a cognate, but you would actually use it for, for crying. Maybe. Um, so that could be... No. Okay. Um, ich, ich esse keine Suppe, nein. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, he doesn't eat his soup, no? Yeah, yeah, I, I, don't, I won't eat my soup, yeah, no. Uh, ich esse meine Suppe nicht. Oh, I don't eat my soup. Yeah, and nein, meine Suppe esse ich nicht. No, I... I don't. I won't eat my soup. So, yeah, the, the last three ones are e pretty easy because they're um, it's um, the, the the stories build up on those. So basically, we have a few verses, and then in uh, you know in the last three verses, always like I don't, I won't eat myself. No, the soup I won't eat. Okay. And so I, I knew it was gonna be challenging, but the thing that I, I found really interesting was that there were some words like dutzka that were exactly the same, or or um, like that uh, we that. You know, I never thought of the fact that that the the, the word the noun we use uh, for someone who has contractions uh, that it actually comes from German. So, yeah, it was really refreshing and for me actually. Yeah, yeah I think the same much. thing. So that uh, I found it to be really interesting. I didn't I didn't think that you I had I had a hope that you that you have this word in your language, but I, I didn't I I wasn't sure. So, but apparently, uh, like um, when you go from from Holland, well, from the Netherlands down to Bavaria, you have like one big dialect continuum. And so, yeah, I guess I we potentially, I can still understand your Flemish better than Bavarians right here. Yeah, and of thanks. course, it was, was very fun. So was very yeah, cool. it was, it was. And actually there are still a lot of people who think that uh, people of the people in Belgium speak Belgian. <laughs> Belgian, oh yeah. And yeah. I'm really wondering what kind of language that's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I guess if you don't know about it, then then yeah. Exactly. It's like when people think in Austria they speak Austrian, right? <laughs> like sometimes I have the they, feeling they do. <laughs> yeah, and like they like as as a set like they think that is a specific language called Austrian. Like they don't realize that okay, like German is spoken in Switzerland, it's spoken in Austria, and you know, like people, a lot of people are not familiar with that, right? So. Again, coming back to this video of Flemish and Belgium in general, I think this will be very educational as well for many people. Yeah, I think so too. So yeah, anyway, thank so you so much. It was it was really wonderful. Uh, you guys uh, take care and have a good evening. Yeah, you too. Stay safe Bye, and Bye. See you. take care. Bye. Bye.